unlikely hit TV show that's bringing our Maggie Ruley to the farm to live out her childhood dream. <gasps> well, hello. Like many young kids, I grew up wanting to be a veterinarian, which is how, as a now 30-something-year-old woman, I ended up knee-deep in sheep on a farm just outside London. Hi. <laughs> We definitely are having a moment, aren't we, Connie? You are just giving the best sheep cuddles. Oh Hello. God, she is precious. Hello. In my mind are thoughts of James Harriet, the countryside vet with a gentle manner and soft touch. His books from the 70s, a favorite of mine growing up, have now found a new life on the small screen. Did you read the books? I did read the books, and um, I watched this new series, and, and I actually really loved it. Somehow, in a modern TV world filled with drug lords, murderers, and mayhem, all creatures great and small, a miniseries about this calm, old-timey vet from the 1930s is standing out. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> Set in the Yorkshire Dales, a bucolic slice of the English countryside, the show is raking in glowing critical reviews from all over. You, know, you say never in a million years you thought you'd be watching and reviewing all creatures great and small. And in your, your review, you write, suddenly there was nothing I wanted to watch more than this gentle show with its low stakes plotting, lush scenery, adorable animals, and ensemble of fundamentally nice people. What was it that made you drawn to this? It was such a relief. I literally watched most of the season on the day of the, the insurrection in Washington, D.C., and I had the news on, and at a certain point, I just couldn't take it anymore. I couldn't believe that this was happening, and so I kept putting on the, the nice man takes care of the couch show. Already a smash hit in Britain during lockdown, becoming Channel 5's most watched show in years. By the time the series made its way across the pond, Americans were desperately in need of its relief. I think we all are living in a world that feels very, very out of control to us. We, at the moment, the pandemic has engendered um, a feeling of anxiety, uncertainty. We don't know what's going to happen next. And I think we all are hankering after some form of solidity and certainty. James Harriet's continued success over 50 years proves there's just something about this solid and certain life that connects with people. Yes, Although, as I found out, today's farm life is full of surprises that, well, I'll pack a punch. Hello! Look at your mop of hair. Amy Seren is a modern-day James Harriet, having spent the last decade working as a vet on the English countryside. I feel like James Harriet looked very snazzy yeah. when he's in the field. I mean, it's no suit and tie like our friend James, but I think we look dashing. Yeah. All right, so dashing, maybe overselling it, but we are ready for action. So this is snout. Oh, look at them get in there. I know. They are hungry. They love Unlike in Harriet's time, nowadays vets have relatively new technology to help them get up close and personal. Hi. Hello, friend. Using an ultrasound on Miss Betty here, Amy delivers the exciting news. A little baby alpaca is on the way. Oh, Betty, congratulations. Oh, you oh, obviously knew. Right there. <laughs> What are the biggest differences between, you know, large animal veterinarian medicine today versus the 1930s when, when James Harriet was out here? Fundamentally, it is the same. We are relied upon to provide like an animal health service. There are more women in agriculture now <laughs> um, and, and indeed farm vetting. I mean, it's it's still not what I would call diverse enough, but farm farm vetting has opened huh. up to a lot more people than we would traditionally have, have associated with farm vetting. And Amy shows me how to dive right in. I can teach you how to tip a sheep if you want. I would love that. <laughs> <laughs> Something every gal must know. Sheep flipping is, well, <laughs> exactly what it sounds like. You will control her a little bit with your legs. Oh, okay. You give her a sort of big old koala hug. Yeah, here. Push that head round and then lift that foot up. Oh, oh here we go. So you're doing it. Did I do it? You did it. Oh my God, well, Connie, that's... I think this is more just Connie being the most amazing sheep ever. She's so chill. <laughs> Connie, did so... we just become best friends? <laughs> I think I'm in love. I think I'm in love. As Connie and I have our moment, oh, dude, I realize that perhaps it's this bond like... and the intense but yeah. slow life on a farm that draws us to all okay. creatures great and small. We, we've been trapped physically and emotionally, you know, for almost a year now. And also just our, our lives right now are so difficult and so hectic to have this very peaceful and happy thing about nice people. I, you know, it's like, it's like Liz Lemon once said. I want to go to there. 
A show that gives us a place where the little kids inside of us can be vets and the adults can welcome the escape. Maggie Ruley, ABC News, London. Maggie seemed right at home, life there on the farm, our thanks to her. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.